Hi guys, so this is going to be a bit of a different video. It's a challenge that I combine my writing and my drawing. So the challenge is that the writing and the drawing were both done in five minutes. I set a timer basically for my writing first and I set it for five minutes and I had to come up with all of that story and write all within that five minutes. Then. I decided I wanted to draw that, so to mimic my 5 minute writing challenge, I wanted to also draw in 5 minutes. So the first drawing that you'll see, I actually went a little bit over in 5 minutes, but um, hey, this is my first time, so. But the second drawing, um, I just did that all in 5 minutes. It's nothing grand or spectacular, it just, it, it's just um, some sketch work. But I thought it would be interesting to share my rough drafts from writing and a drawing perspective. And yeah, hopefully you'll like my little challenge idea. Maybe you can do it too. I don't know, I thought it was pretty fun. Um, so yeah. I can't get it out of my head. It's just lodged in there and no one will freaking help me. Why? I literally have a pointy ass sword in my head and travelers just pass by and say, ooh, ouch, or snap a photo. Like you aren't gonna help me? A little at least? Dang, that hurts more than this stupid sword at this point. Oh, another traveler. Maybe if I motion over they'll see me and... Uh, no. Okay, well, uh, now what? What will I do if I can't do anything? Not even die? Um, I guess I'll look at that tree. Wow. What a beautiful tree. Its leaves are really, really green. Now they're a bit yellow. Oh, and now they're turning brown. How interesting. Oh, but now they're gone. Crap. Well, that lake looks pretty cool. It's all iced over and people are ice skating. That looks fun. Dang, they really know how to spin. Makes me a little dizzy, especially looking at it from the side. It's really interesting. But now they're gone. So that was the video, and yeah. I just want to say that this idea wasn't entirely my own idea. I don't remember where it came from, but I think it was like this old proverb about ignoring people and just go along with their daily lives even though like someone else is in immense pain and they see it but they won't do anything about it. Basically this whole thing, the guy with his sword in his head is a whole metaphor for you know how people just ignore other people's feelings or ignore other people in their own daily life and you can see that as the guy is going through the seasons and he's just sitting there just bored and really really confused why no one is helping him like even someone posts on social media or takes a picture of him you know and he's just sitting there waiting for someone to help him but no one does so yeah that's just a little message that hey if you see someone who's struggling then don't do nothing about it just don't don't be the guys who are just ice skating and just ignoring the guy with a literal sword in his head. Don't don't be that person. <laughs> Go up to that guy with the sword in his head and be like, uh, I don't I don't know if I can take that sword out of your head, but maybe I can call 911 at least. <laughs> So yeah, if you see someone struggling, then go help them. You'll you'll thank yourself later, and hey, maybe uh, that person and you will become good friends or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, bye.